What size LVL beam do I need? If you're planning a construction project and wondering what size LVL beam you need, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to understand the load that the beam will have to support. This includes both dead loads, like the weight of the roof or floor itself, and live loads, such as people, furniture, and even snow if you're in an area that gets snowfall. For example, for a flat roof, you might use a load calculation of 25 pounds per square foot, while areas with heavy foot traffic could be 50 pounds per square foot. Next, calculate the total load by multiplying the load per square foot by the span of the beam. For instance, if you have a 15-foot span with a uniform load of 50 pounds per square foot, the total load would be 15 feet by 50 pounds per square foot equals 750 pounds. Now, you need to calculate the maximum bending moment. This is done using the formula M equals load to distance wire span. This tells you the stress the beam will endure at its midpoint. For example, if the load is 750 pounds and the distance to the load is half the span since it's a uniform load, the bending moment would be calculated accordingly. The section modulus of the beam is also crucial. This is calculated using the formula S equals beam width beam depth chord 6. This ensures the beam can resist the bending moment effectively. The type of wood and the beam's dimensions also play a significant role. LVL beams come in various depths, such as 5 to quarter inches, 7 to quarter inches, 9 to half inches, and more. For a 20-foot span, you might need an LVL beam that is at least 9 to half inches deep. Environmental factors like humidity and temperature fluctuations can also affect the performance of the LVL beam over time, so it's important to consider these when selecting the right beam size. For more complex structures or to ensure compliance with local building codes, it might be necessary to consult with a structural engineer. They can help you document all calculations and assumptions, which is important for future reference and in case of inspections or audits. In summary, determining the right size of an LVL beam involves careful calculations of load capacity, bending moment, and section modulus as well as considering the beam's dimensions and environmental factors. By following these steps, you can ensure your construction project is structurally sound and safe.